man, I was recording that whole time, bro. Welcome back to Smoking Asphalt Garage. This morning we are, we're doing a tune-up on a 2008 GMC Denali. It's got 6.2 liter all-wheel drive. It's an LS base engine. It's gonna be a basic tune-up. We're gonna be replacing spark plugs, spark plug wires, air filter, AC belt, and uh, after that, we're gonna do a modification to the front grill. We're gonna plastic divot. The truck is black. We're gonna plastic dip the grill black, bumper grill black. See how it turns out, guys. We're at the shop. Here's the 2008 GMC Denali. And these are the parts we'll be installing. Copper spark plugs. Got a little anti seize on there. They're all 40 thousandths of an inch. Got the AC belt and the spark plug wire. Also, air filter. All right, guys, gonna start by removing the spark plug wires. Remember to let the engine cool before you start working on it. Next, we're gonna put the spark plugs which on this vehicle is going to be a 5 8 little spark plug socket and I believe I'll be able to reach them all with a 3 8 drive and a short extension. spark plug on there kind of tight between the firewall and the spark plug itself so I remove the extension so we got the spark plug socket along with a 7 8 inch shallow socket to take that one out because the clearance is uh, that much tighter back there plugs that I removed. As you can see, it's getting a good clean burn. And next I'll be installing the new spark plugs in there. I'll start with the most challenging one first, which is at number eight. Next, we're going to install the new wires. Just don't forget the electric grease and the connectors. Next, 
Next we'll move on to the air cleaner. We have three screws to loosen and they are T25s, torx bit. belt which is down there you can see those cracks in that belt no good so in order to move that tensioning you're going to use a 15 millimeter socket take the tension off the belt I like to just slide it off the water pump really. with the main belt loosen it up out of the way uh, to get to the lower tensioner on the AC belt, all you need is a 3H drive. Here's the belt. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Where your belt has cracks in it like that, that's definitely way will pass the life your belt comparison. Alright guys, belt's on. Pretty straightforward job. Uh, it's a little tricky getting it to line back up down there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to crank it up and make sure everything's fine, everything's good to go. Today is classy dip, the grill, this trim piece right here, and this going around. I'm not gonna plastic dip the GMC, but we will be plastic dipping this lower piece down here. Alright, so we're gonna remove this grill. To do so, I have to remove all these little plastic tabs here. This top cover to be able to reach the back side of the grill itself and remove more screws to the inside right here this bumper cap and there's a bunch of little clips behind it pull that out not breaking anything and that should be it we'll be able to pull the grill off <laughs>
take off the stop trim. Wasn't too bad. Uh, started the suppliers on the outside ones. Once I got those started, the rest of them pulled off pretty easily. All right, got everything clean, prepped. Use some denatured alcohol. Make sure you get all the oil and contaminants off the surface. So that plastic dip can adhere as best as it can. This is the stuff we're using. Uh, while I was doing the tune-up on the truck, I, we let this kind of heat up in the sun. Worked pretty good on the wheels. Base coat. So you can still see some of the chrome showing through. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's it's not a permanent modification. The owner decides he wants to go back to chrome or a different color. Peel the stuff off. Pretty neat. Thing installed my, uh, <laughs> my battery and my phone died so I had to put it on charge and kind of missed the reinstallation of everything came out great had five coats apply five coats to the grill and the bumper grill as well as the license plate trim everything is real smooth